Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm going to tell you about the John Muir Award that Katie and I recently did along Hadrian's Wall. And to help us with this presentation, we've got some help from our friends, the woodland animals, like this little squirrel here. So first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the John Muir Award. The John Muir Award is an environmental award and it encourages people to get involved in conservation. There are four stages to the award, discover, explore, conserve, and share. I'm going to talk to you about how we use those different levels in our award. This is John Muir, who the name, award is named after, who was a, a founding father of ecology and the conservation movement. Okay, so to start with the discover section of the award, um, the discovery section is to do all to do with uh, finding out about the the wild place that you'll be working in, um, and prepare for your your expedition. So this is where we walked. This is the the plan for the route that we made. Um, we're walking along Hadrian's Wall from Carlisle towards Newcastle. Um, so we had to make a plan, we had to book our campsites along the way, we had to buy some equipment and and test everything out, which Katie's doing here, and also think about how we're going to record our activities. So that's the Discover section. Under the Explore section, um, we explored the wall in one way by walking along the Hadrian's Wall route. So this is Katie and me at the beginning, beginning of the route, where there's a, a sign in the car that tells you this is the beginning of the, the Hadrian's Wall path. We hiked up and down some big hills. You can see the wall in the background here going up a big hill. So it was quite tough sometimes. We had to get ourselves psyched up. Um, so there's Katie and me, and there was a few other people with us on our trip who weren't doing the John Muir Award, but they were just with us for the trip. So this is. Um, one of Katie's friends with us here. Um, you can see the, the the path was quite twisty and it was quite beautiful at times but also quite challenging. You can see here the path of the wall ahead of us. And there was some quite nice scenery such as this tree at Sycamore Gap. Katie and me camped, so this is a picture of us setting up our tent with a three-legged dog helping us and we sometimes managed to get inside. Our friends were mainly sleeping inside rather than camping so we sometimes managed to sneak inside and dry off our shoes and, and get a bit dry after a, a day's walk in the rain. We also explored Hadrian's Wall by licking it and by geocaching. Uh, this is Katie, she just found a geocache um, which is where you use a GPS to try and find hidden treasures where you go. So we managed to find 21 geocaches along the route and this is one of them, a small canister hidden inside a log. So by the end of the, the four day expedition we'd covered 87 kilometres and we'd explored it in a few different ways. So the next thing for us to do was to complete the conserve challenge. For this we went to Northumbria National Park and we asked the ranger service if we could help them with anything. The first thing they suggested was to help them remove Himalayan balsam which you can see here, an invasive species. Um, so we had to go into the, the areas where it had got a hold and just go in and pull it up by the root, which can be quite difficult because it snaps quite easily. Um, yeah, we managed to get quite a big pile of it. This is us with uh, some of the people that were helping us. They were doing their Duke of Edinburgh award by helping out as well. Another thing that we helped with was removing ragwort, which is another species that the ranger is trying to remove from the national park. So here's Katie uh, by the ranger vehicle with some ragwort that she just pulled up. And the third thing that we did was try and help to we helped to mow a an established meadow and collect all the hay and the seeds and move it to another site. Um, it was a meadow that was becoming established that we were trying to help it get going. So the seeds from this site would help it uh, to become established. So we, we after mowing the meadow, we took all the the seed over to the other site. This is um, at Walltown. And this site used to be a quarry, so they're still rehabilitating the site and trying to um, get the meadow as, as diverse as the other meadows. So here we are, here's Katie, spreading some of the seed over there. And you can see Hadrian's Wall again in the background here. There's quite a lot of wildlife out, so we saw plenty of bees around. And after we'd mowed the, the meadow, um, it exposed a lot of insects. And so quite a lot of birds came to, uh, to feed on the insects. Here you can see a robin that's just uh, managed to find a caterpillar. So that was the conserve stage of the award. We spent two days doing that. And the final stage of the award is to share. 
So as well as um, holding presentations um, for our friends to show them some of our photographs and let them know what we've been doing, we've also been running a blog. Uh, you can see the blog at hikinghadrian.wordpress.com and that's just a way of sharing things with people to, to share our experience for the award. This is the address. And that's the end of our presentation. So, thanks for listening. <laughs>